Fighters taking in season breaks when they like, as opposed to professional games where the fighters will go for three minutes per round for three rounds. Now, grappling, sweeps and slams the right left hook. Whoa! I had to cover my eyes. That was a humiliating defeat for Kudawa. Look at the spectators run wild. I mean, come on, these are the same crowd who would. I mean, people are in disbelief. Certain fighters are in disbelief. Like, come on, what's happening? These same fire fans are the ones who would hail him and praise him. I mean, they hug it out as always. The, the spirit of uh, Danby fighting. No enmity amongst the fighters, between the fighters. Could have while, you know, licking his wounds like a wounded dog. You cannot believe it. Like, watch that beautiful replay. He struck an overhand in Nigeria. Could have followed through with an overhand return, but. Then Nigeria seems to be the faster of the, you know, the adversary. Slam his left hook very well, neatly, gloating over the bodies of uh, his defeated opponent, the person of. Uh... Watch that beautiful leg walk. Slams the left hook, then made him part of Maguna. He didn't see that coming. The lightning speed of down out and Nigeria takes him again, but Maguna returns a very good favorable left hook too. Probably has uh, Dan Nigeria figured out. Uh, we're about to find out. That jinx broke. Whoa! He dummied there by Dan Nigeria. Dan Nigeria is so sad. It was the crazy. <laughs> I didn't tell him to suck it up. He lost. It is that bait, it is that bait. If uh, any part of your opponent's body touches the sand and uh, lost the excuse, he was trying to get away from the grip of uh, Bago Maiguna. So he seals his win properly. Left hook takes him out. Whoa! That is what we call a knockout. <laughs> this is why there was a massive jubilation at the beginning of this game. Arena is like a uh, massive jubilation right now. Massive, massive jubilation. Let's put that again. And the left hook takes out my guana, collapsing into Mother Earth. He needs milk. I mean, someone pick him up quickly. They quickly rush him. Pick him up to try and revive him. He's gonna leave, definitely gonna leave. I guess he's running, coming through the game. Striking over hand on the pot and the left hook again from Dan Nigeria shows us how it's done. Well placed. Strike on the left hook and ducks down his opponent who is so pain about this. That's what the doctor was at. You see him extremely angry at himself. Hands on his head and. Uh, Signals and spectators love it. It was an electrifying performance. See him swerving and striking the left hook, taking his opponent out on his own motion, stumbling and rolling across, mocking him before he gets up and walks away. Ooh, okay. Turn to the arena, we get to see uh, Bagon out and then Nigeria of Jamus on the cap there against out and Buma Kurumada. Down the world's uh, circuit, and uh, the Nigeria is a deadly fighter. Whoa, striking to left. Whoa, and it, that was a quick key, right? He should go into the group of uh, one of the quickest bouts in that game. Knocked out uh, Buma immediately, instantaneously as the game started. Let's watch that replay quickly. Striking through overhand, he could successfully trust him. Buma was struggling to know how to and just turned it backwards and all falls. Italian and wasting time, right hooks and uppercuts there for Matarua and Sharon Arawa. He knocks down his opponent, <laughs> scores at him. Exactly what we were talking about. Abatama is in disbelief as his fighters help him up. Another fighter scurries on to Alaye to fight him. Alaye punches him in a sucker punch. Oh my god, what is going to happen? The fight almost immediately happens, pushes him down. As his opponent, whoa! You see, uh, Bagon Agugu steps in. Uh, whoa, Alex Kudu. Oh my god, come on, what is happening here? They try to calm him down, but now they have actually set up themselves to fight. Interesting scene has occurred here in Dambi Arena. Shagun tries to ride, who gets an uppercut to return, and the left hook takes him down completely. Oh, that was it. Oh. This is that bad. This is what we love about that. Because already, you know, just 
demonstrate one shot all that Nigeria needed. One point. He's he got a right hook in the face. He put that point. He had an uppercut beautifully. Sending shockwaves through the body of Shagong. Gets him in the right leg, in the left hook punch. Making him sit, screaming at him on the ground because even him did not believe he was going to win that game. But it was well fought. To be lost in Italian, but left hook. Uh, follow through and he got him on his knees. <laughs> See him still staggering. That Nigeria shows him what he's made of. He's so excited. He doesn't even believe it. I mean, because the massive jubilation. But that was a beautiful shot. Look at that. And the slamming overhand, striking him. The man was attempting to capture, but I think that first one did a bit of a damage. Followed through with a beautiful direct shot to the face, getting him on both knees. Sinamara quickly getting up because he didn't believe that he was going to get hit that quickly. 